from that conversation around the CFAs and of course the crystal ball looking at our economy, a cut in thicker will tomorrow determine uh, whether uh, the people who had been implicated in the theft of money from the bank at, well, the famous heist in Thika, who are three relatives, two brothers and a cousin who have been charged with a robbery at the KCB bank can be released on bail or not. The court remanded the three on Monday after they were arraigned in that court and charges read to them since their arrest a fortnight ago. The three are charged with breaking into the KCB branch at Thika and stealing over 50 million shillings. They are also charged with handling stolen property after police linked them to part of the cash, some 17 million shillings that was recovered in Juja last weekend. They denied all the charges arraigned against them. But they have already taken plea on the count one. They considered the application by the defense to have their case persons released on reasonable bond terms and the objection thereto by the prosecution. I will deliver a ruling on the same on the 30th of November and in the meantime their case persons shall be remanded in custody. Well, 18 months down the line, Hemingway's collection is set to open the 1.2 billion shilling Hemingway's in Watamo. The establishment re-enters the market as a 39-room boutique hotel along with Hemingway Residences, a privately owned residential development comprising some 21 luxury apartments. The Hemingway's Residences consists of one, two and four bedroom apartments, which will sell from about 45 million shillings to about 140 million shillings. The restaurant concepts also have been redesigned for customer tastes. The main restaurant will serve a delicious a la carte brasserie style dish. They focus on fresh seafood signature dishes that will include, among others, tuna dishes and things like carpaccio, Indian Ocean seafood, and others. If we put the right quality of product in, in a beautiful location that, you know, visitors will come. Um, and that's what we intend with Hemingway's Watami. It, it, historically, it has a very loyal follow, following with the UK market. Um, it tailed off a little bit um, in the last few years. But again, as we relaunch with, with, um, with a beautiful luxury product, um, we're expecting that market to, to rebound. Um, and we're also hoping to, to generate business from um, tourists who traditionally might come to Kenya on safari, but then you know, move off for a beach extension to either Zanzibar or other Indian Ocean islands. I think tourism, as I mentioned earlier, I think tourism had a very, a very good year, international tourism. I think Kenya's tourism is coming back. Uh, obviously, with the little difficulties with our election rerun, has made things a little bit uncertain. But now that these things to be concluded, and uh, the expectations are very good, uh, the Kenyan coast is, has been very poor for a number of years now. It's very slow. Uh, but we actually strongly believe that there is a great demand, there is potential demand for the Kenyan coast. We're building the new Hemingway's Hotel, we're opening it 1st of December. Uh, with a large, large investment, because uh, we believe that the uh, potential is there. Well, 2017 has been a difficult year for maize farmers after delayed rains and infestation by the fall armyworm. Farmers are now harvesting what remained of their fields and hoping that government shall keep its promise to buy all their maize at a good price. Now, stakeholders in the green sector are calling on government to keep this promise every year to save farmers from exploitation by middlemen. Philip Keitani has more on that story. Early this year, the government had promised to spend 6 billion shillings to subsidize maize and make it affordable to Kenyans. And now stakeholders in the green sector are worried that if this move will be a one-time offer, then farmers will have no incentives to grow more maize in the future. The key thing to farmers of this country today as we speak, those that have already harvested and those that are about to harvest, is about the price of the maize that is going to be bought from them and also the urgency because as it is, every time there is a delay and farmers have harvested and we all know that the harvesting season has been very wet, they are forced to release that maize very quickly to the market and certain people take advantage. So if the solution is delayed in coming, eventually what you are going to end up in is a situation where the people that benefit are not actually the farmers. President Uhuru Kenyatta had promised that the money will be used to buy all maize offered for sale by farmers this season 
under the government strategic food reserves program to boost food security and sustain affordable price for maize flour, a move that these stakeholders say, if maintained, will save farmers from exploitation by middlemen. That's quite um, an interesting and a bold move by the government uh, to be able to take up a measure that, uh, that, that I think for many years uh, that kind of approach has not been looked at. This being the harvesting season in most parts of the North Rift region, farmers are looking forward to the end of one of the most challenging seasons, especially for maize farmers that saw the infestation of Kenyan maize farms by the fall armyworm. I would want to hope that it is a long-term plan that government is instituting and that this is part of a broader package of solutions that must be offered to Kenyan farmers for them to increase production and to improve their productivity. The president had also promised that in this current financial year, his government was going to allocate 30 billion shillings to the agricultural ministry to finance implementations of programs that will enhance agricultural production and ensure food security. Uh, the question people will be asking is that, does the government have that capacity to be able to purchase all the maize that will be uh, produced and harvested in Kenya? Uh, I think the answer is yes. Uh, the resources are there. We can be able to do that. To further cushion farmers against rising cost of inputs, the president had promised that the government will reduce the price of fertilizer to 1,200 shillings per 50 kilogram bag for the next season. Philip Keitang, KTN News. Well, we now want to proceed on a short break on that optimistic agricultural note, but when we